evil clone, gangster, soldier, cage fighter, and hulking supervillain. This English heartthrob certainly has range. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the life and career of Tom Hardy. I guess the characters are a little bit mad, and they're maybe a bit strong, and maybe a bit tough. But all of them I've played with a center whereby they've come from me. Edward Thomas Hardy was born September 15, 1977, in southwest London. Hardy was the son of an artist and a comedy writer, and so this young talent spent his youth attending private schools. However, Hardy was a bit of a social misfit and was prone to lashing out. This caused him to spend many nights in jail for unruly activities. Despite his disruptive behavior, he eventually enrolled at London's renowned drama centre. During his time there, Hardy performed in various stage plays and worked briefly as a model. Unfortunately, it was during this time he developed an addiction to alcohol and cocaine. My, my personal issues to do with you know, alcoholism or anything like that, it's, it's indiscriminate. I don't know if it's nature or nurture or where it came from, it's just, it just is and it's what I have and I have to deal with it on a daily basis. Despite this inner struggle, Hardy married a woman he had only met three weeks prior in 1999. He then took a chance by dropping out of school to accept a minor role in Steven Spielberg's award-winning 2001 HBO miniseries, Band of Brothers. For this project, Hardy worked alongside an all-star cast and an iconic Hollywood director, and this earned him an instant foothold in the industry. Later that year, he earned his first big screen role as an army specialist in Ridley Scott's war drama Black Hawk Down. Hardy then took a supporting role in the film Simon, an English Legionnaire, before he received widespread recognition in 2002's Star Trek Nemesis. In that final big screen next generation adventure, Hardy played Riemann Praetor Shinzon, who was an evil clone of Starfleet Captain Jean-Luc Picard, who was held bent on annihilating the Earth. We will no longer bow before anyone as slaves, not the Romulans and not your mighty Federation. We are a race bred for war. Hardy then appeared in a slew of other projects and stage shows, including the independent drama Dot the Eye, the murder mystery The Reckoning, and the crime thriller Layer Cake. While his career was steadily improving, his personal life took a turn for the worse when his drug use caused the end of his marriage. Thankfully, this finally gave Hardy a reason to enter rehab. Hardy then focused mostly on British television projects, including the two-part feature Cold It's, the miniseries The Virgin Queen, and the sci-fi remake A for Andromeda. However, his most critically praised TV project was the BBC drama Stuart, A Life Backwards, in which he played an abused homeless man. While TV had turned out to be Hardy's bread and butter, in 2006 he appeared on the silver screen as the lead in the horror film Minotaur. He found himself in the media spotlight when he played gay gangster Handsome Bob in Guy Ritchie's 2008 crime film Rock and Rolla. This gritty role proved to be a major milestone for Hardy. I'm going back to bed. Can I come? <laughs> but it was his next performance as real-life convicted Robert Charles Bronson that truly propelled his career. Bronson showcased Hardy's incredible dedication to his craft as the actor put on 42 pounds of muscle for the role. The film earned him a British Independent Film Award for Best Actor, as well as a London Film Critics Circle Award nomination for British Actor of the Year. Prison was finally a place where I could sharpen my tools, own my skills. It's like a battleground, isn't it? By 2010, Hardy's grip on Hollywood was unshakable. That year, he stole scenes from Leonardo DiCaprio and Joseph Gordon-Levitt in Christopher Nolan's Inception. That sci-fi spectacular brought Hardy unprecedented praise, several prestigious nominations, and a rising star BAFTA award. We're trapped in Fisher's mind battling his own private army, and if we get killed, we'll be lost in limbo till our brains turn to scrambled egg. Hardy bulked up again the next year to play a U.S. Marine turned cage fighter in the emotional sports drama Warrior. 2011 also saw Hardy star with Gary Oldman and Colin Firth in the British adaptation of the 70s espionage novel Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. This shot Hardy to the top of Hollywood's A-list. In 2012, he starred opposite Chris Pine and Reese Witherspoon in the action comedy This Means War, and played the imposing supervillain Bane in Christopher Nolan's final Batman installment, The Dark Knight Rises. Tom Hardy is a British talent who prides himself on his ability and willingness to play anyone or anything. Of course, that's pretty ironic when you consider that the biggest role of his career had him hiding his face.